out of the blue, someone said, Father, it will be really good if we do a pilgrimage to Mexico. One of the goals of our diocese is to bring the two communities together, you know, the Anglophones and the Hispanics. And we thought that would be a good idea so that we can bring the two communities together. And that's how it all began. We had people who didn't really speak a lot of English and people didn't speak a lot of Spanish. So this was a kind of a unique and intense experience of church for these folks, that they could see everybody worshiping Christ and drawing close to Christ. So often working for the church, it's easy to help others, but you tend to forget to feed your own soul. And this pilgrimage really allowed me to take that moment for myself and for my relationship with God and for him and I to reconnect. You can learn a lot about a culture by reading about it, but you really don't get to know the culture until you actually experience it. I went to this pilgrimage to learn more about their culture and everything that makes up a country through its people. It was the people that drew me to the pilgrimage and I think that this one was right on the mark. At the beginning, I, I had a few fears, but being there and just seeing them, the interactions, that took away my fears right away because just by this, the smiles, the way they would talk to each other, uh, and help each other in different circumstances. At that moment, I thought, yes, this is gonna be okay. I really appreciated the way that they organized the trip where we started in Puebla and had that build up. So we started small and kind of built up to the experience of being at the Basilica. Of course, Puebla is like the Venice of, of Mexico. Uh, Puebla is just extraordinary. It was beautiful and you could really feel the faith that those communities had. I loved being in these beautiful churches. It just made my faith deeper. The little rule that I have with pilgrims, myself as a spiritual leader, is the first thing we do when we go into church is first we pray, then we can take pictures. Because we're not tourists, we're pilgrims, and there is a difference. We went to St. Dominic's and had Mass in the Rosary Chapel, and it was floor to ceiling, gilded, gold, super ornate hand carvings. That just floored me. I had never seen anything like that. For me as a priest, it's, it's just wonderful. It's a great honor to say Mass in different churches during the pilgrimage and share a great aspect of our faith with the pilgrims. I think it's important to have our faith season that we can renew our enthusiasm and our joy and see the beauty of the faith. God wants life, wants us to flourish, wants abundance, wants to see us flourish, wants to see the beauty, wants to bring out the beauty in our lives. And you can see that faith alive when you're a pilgrim with the thousands of other pilgrims at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City. If there is a word that ties together our scriptures today with our celebration here at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, it can be summarized in one word, pilgrimage. 
you might not have caught the Spanish gospel today, but it's about how we are to travel. He tells his disciples that when they are to go on a journey, they're to take nothing. Then he names the things they are not to take. No gold, no silver, no copper for the money belts, no sack, no second tunic, no sandals, not even a walking stick. What did you bring for this pilgrimage? The list of what Jesus commands his disciples not to take is actually a list of what a well-planned pilgrim would take on a pilgrimage. Jesus seems to be suggesting to his disciples that when they go to preach, they're to enter the homes of those they are serving as if they were entering the sacred space of the temple. Our time away on pilgrimage ought to help us to return to our daily life with great reverence and great awe. We can return to our daily routines with a freshness and an appreciation that our desire for God, our task of placing God at the center of our lives is not something we do alone, no. No, this great place of pilgrimage reminds us that there are literally millions of others all around the world who desire the very same. May we stand, figuratively speaking, around this altar with only one tunic, trusting that the providential God will provide the rest. had a moment, a moment of grace in this pilgrimage. I was just walking by, my, by myself and um, just a moment of feeling uh, fulfilled, feeling that what I'm doing as a priest is the right thing that I'm doing. Just uh, filled with warmth and, and happiness. It was just a, a beautiful moment. It takes all of us to see Christ. It takes all the languages, all the cultures, all the devotional expressions to be able to fully enter into Christ. It's about Christ. God loves us so much that he sent his mother in a form that the people of that time could identify with because he wanted them to know him better that love and sacrifice that he showed really overwhelmed me that day. The other side of the coin in a spiritual pilgrimage is the reward of meeting new people and having friends and relaxing. When we went to the Palacio de Bellas Artes, it was so amazing. I was actually looking forward to that trip. I had heard about the Palacio de Bellas Artes and I love Ballet Folklorico. To be able to see the dances from the different regions of Mexico, um, it was just such an amazing show. I love the pilgrimage because it's also a lot of fun. They see me more spontaneous. They see me more at ease with things. Definitely they see me in a different way. I don't have sustained contact with a regular set of parishioners, which is why I appreciate as a bishop going on a pilgrimage because I get sustained contact. I miss that having been a pastor. It was our last night together as a large group and the, everybody kind of just was relaxed and maybe some folks had a shot of tequila. It was like the frosting on the cake. The cake was all of the other events. The frosting was coming together as a group now feeling extremely comfortable with each other, and we just simply had a great time. Uh, 
I didn't do any dancing, but I was dancing in my heart because I wa looked around the room and everyone was enjoying themselves. So yes, it was very, very nice. You know, this idea about pilgrimage, it's about people walking together towards God. And it goes back from the time that, you know, even our Lord Jesus went up to Jerusalem in a pilgrimage, seeing the great temple where God dwells, where God lives. So this same idea continues in our time, that in a pilgrimage, it's, it's the church, the people of God are walking together towards our goal, which is God, you know, and we're going to different places. Just to remind us of that, that at the end of our day, we on this earth, we're in a little pilgrimage. One day, we're gonna see our Lord.